Hello and welcome to Loud Online Video Edition. This is the first time we've tried something like this, so I'm not sure how successful it's going to be. My name is Brian. I'm the editor of Loud Online, and um, I just putting this together to catch up on a few things that you may have missed or that you may be looking forward to uh, in the near future. The first thing, of course, that we should get into is that live music is back, live festivals uh, specifically. And uh, the Yours and Ours Festival, of course, happened in Wollongong a few weeks back, the first large festival of its kind in Australia since COVID killed everything off. Um, our reviewer, Brendo, went along to that and uh, filed a report that you can read on the Loud Online website, which is, of course, loudmag.com.au. Um, I'll put all the links uh, below the feature here so you can check them out later on. Fans of Australian music from the 90s should rightly be getting pretty excited about the Spring Loaded Festival, which it has now started touring uh, around the nation. Um, it's bringing the touring festival concept back after quite a long time from Australian shores. The last touring festivals we had, of course, were Soundwave and The Big Day Out, um, now, neither of those have been around since 2014, 2015. Download didn't really get a chance to take off. So um, this is kind of slotted into the gap left by those. And it has been, as I said, quite some years. Spring Loaded has brought that back. And Sydney got to see it first. Um, we were there at um, this wonderful venue in the heart of Sydney um, for a lineup that was headlined by Grinspoon. Um, Jebediah, perhaps, will probably the surprise packet for me. I have to admit that I was never really a huge fan of them um, in the past. Um, but having seen them live now in this setting, um, they were very, very good indeed. Magic Dirt were also brilliant. Um, all the bands were fantastic too. Friends of Rom, Tumbleweed, Scream Feeder, Custard and Caligula were also on the bill and um, they all um, did a very, very good very, very good job for the uh, crowd of about 5,000 that were in attendance. It was very pricey alcohol-wise. I think I spent about 90 bucks on six cans of CC and dry. But I think the small scale of the event actually helped with its success. Um, both myself and Brendo were there. Um, Brendo wrote the review and Rod Hunt took some photos, which uh, have now been uploaded in the gallery on the Loud site too, so you can check them out. Let's look at some music. Now it's time to look at some music releases that we think that you should check out. The first one we're going to look at is from Sydney band Burial Pit. These guys are a brutal sludge band made up of former members of bands like Lo and uh, Yenamamo. Um, it's a very, very heavy atmospheric album that's pretty relentless uh, when it comes to pounding you around the head with some pretty heavy, some pretty grimy riffs. It's uh, kind of in the vein of a band like Primitive Man, I would say. Um, it's called Subhuman Scum, and it's out on uh, May 21. On a completely different note, Lagerstein have just released their live debut, uh, their live DVD effort, sorry, called Live in Brisbane. If you don't know Lagerstein, they're a pirate metal band, a pirate metal band very much in the vein of um, Ailstorm. They've been around for quite a few years and they do the full package, costumes, full pirate ship stage set, lots of drinking songs. This DVD is almost two hours of them doing a live show that was recorded um, at the Trifford in Brisbane, their hometown in 2019. It's pretty good fun, lots of funny songs, swaggering around in pirate gear, getting people up on stage to share beer bongs, stuff like that. It does drag on a little though, I think. Um, it's an hour and a half, which might be just a little bit too long unless you're really, really, really into the whole pirate metal thing. So unless um, you are a huge fan of, of, of that style of music or of Lagerstein themselves, then you might get tired of the joke after about half an hour or so. But if you're a fan, you'll love this. It's actually pretty funny. It's a lot of fun. So um, definitely check it out. You can find it on their website, lagerstein.com. big one this month, next month actually, is the return of Fear Factory. Their new album is called Aggression Continuum, and it's been delayed for quite some time now, a couple of years, in fact. If you're not familiar with some of the drama that's been going on behind the scenes of that one, um, Dino came out last year asking for fans to help him out financially with um, a legal battle over the use of the band's name, the trademark of the band's name, actually. He's won that battle now, and so the album has is about to be released. It comes out um, on um, June 16th. 
Um, it will be the last album to feature Burton C. Bell on vocals. He's officially announced that he's left the band. Fans have been hanging out for this album to arrive, um, and we've already had a bit of a taster for it with the video to the track um, Disruptor, um, which was the first of several clips that are in the same vein to accompany this album. Um, Fuel Injected Suicide Machine has also been released um, as well. Now, I did an interview with Dino about Aggression Continuum for Hysteria Mag that um, should go up in a few weeks. We spoke a lot about the legal dramas and a lot about him getting death threats for criticising Donald Trump and a whole lot of other stuff. Uh, considering the turmoil surrounding it, it's actually a pretty good record. It has live drums. Burton uses a pretty dry rasp. Um, on this album as well. It's got some orchestrated stuff, and uh, Dino even drops a solo in one of the tracks, which he hasn't done for a very long time either. All right, in a totally different vein, of course, Australian rock legends UMI have released their new album on the 14th of May. If you're anything of a fan, even a casual one, this album will more than meet your expectations. Um, it was an album that was recorded with everyone in isolation from each other last year. Andy and Rusty did their parts in Sydney, Davey and Tim um, did theirs in Melbourne. It's a very strong record filled with uh, songs that have been described already as feeling like old friends. So that's pretty good. Um, that, that's pretty good recommendation. So um, if you haven't heard it already, Waterboy has been up uh, on YouTube for a while now. So that's there to check out. They're on tour at the moment and they'll be joining up with the Spring Loaded Festival too um, from June. Um, I did an interview with Rusty a couple of weeks ago, so you can head there and check that out. And our photographer, Rod, Got some great shots of their recent show at the Enmore Theatre in Sydney too, so they're up on that online as well. That's it for the first edition of our um, Loud Online video. I hope the next one is better. And uh, thanks for checking this one out.